Jeremy, we hear sometimes about cases of meningococcal disease. What is it and what do we need to know about it? Meningococcal disease is a rare but very serious infection that can affect people of any age but tends to affect babies, young children and young adults uh, most, uh, most commonly. Um, when it does occur, it can be, have a very rapid onset and therefore needs very rapid treatment. So it's important to remember the symptoms of meningococcal disease, even though they're rare, keep them in the back of your mind. And if you or your child do get them, to make sure you see a doctor right away. And what are the symptoms of meningococcal disease? Yeah, meningococcal disease has um, symptoms that can be quite variable, but typically a, a, a sudden onset of a high fever, headache, neck stiffness, uh, nausea, vomiting, um, uh, and uh, drowsiness, confusion, and the hallmark that doesn't always occur th though is a, a rash that can be on any part of the body and typically starts off as sort of pinpoints that then merge into blotchy, rash, um, a blotchy rash. So um, if you get a combination of, of those symptoms, that's a real concern and so contact your doctor right away. Jeremy, those symptoms you described, they sound quite similar to some other winter illnesses like influenza. So how do we tell the difference and how do we know whether we've got meningococcal disease or influenza? Look, it can be difficult to tell the difference between meningococcal disease and, and, and other infections uh, in the early stages and um, particularly in children who can't complain of a headache or neck stiffness and, and young babies may be, have symptoms such as being difficult to wake, having a high pitched um, cry. Um, and um, sometimes the very early symptoms can include uh, pain in the legs, um, funny colour of the, the skin and um, uh, um, coldness of the extremities. Um, so um, if you get the classic symptoms of meningococcal disease or a concern, see your doctor uh, right away. And it can be difficult for doctors to diagnose as well. So if you do see the doctor, get reassured and the doctor thinks it's something else, but then you go on and deteriorate, keep in contact with your doctor just in case it turns out to be meningococcal disease. And is there anything we can do to prevent meningococcal disease? Look, uh, meningococcal disease uh, has various strains and the most common strains are strain B and C in New South Wales and the rest of Australia. Um, there is a vaccine against one of those strains, meningococcal C, but not against the other, meningococcal B. So, uh, and that vaccine is very effective against a meningococcal C. It's given in, uh, at age 12 months to all children for free from your GP. And in fact, a few years ago, there was a catch-up program where kids in school were given meningococcal C vaccine as well. And that's had a great impact in reducing the numbers of meningococcal disease in New South Wales. However, unfortunately, at the moment, there's no vaccine against meningococcal B, which is the most common strain. So even if you or your child has been vaccinated against meningococcal disease, if you get those symptoms, still think it could be meningococcal disease and see a doctor right away. The vaccine won't protect you against the more common strain of meningococcal disease.